So let's go into the components of the equipment that is uh, that is required for any of these MIS procedures. And the first of which usually is the laparoscope. All of these laparoscopes land up having an eyepiece on the proximal end that is universal, which means it's going to fit into any other camera system. And they have a working end. Now, some laparoscopes may be 10 millimeters across, others are 5 millimeters across. But all of them by default are going to be having a light attachment on one side. Now, the reason why this proximal end is actually called an eyepiece is because uh, there used to exist a time when camera systems for laparoscopy and endoscopy did not exist. So this was quite literally an eyepiece where surgeons would place their eye at this end and directly visualize the structures that they needed to see. Uh, I don't even want to begin to imagine how cumbersome this entire process of surgery may have been uh, bending over the patient the entire time not knowing where your instruments are going and having to visualize the entire thing uh, directly not to mention nobody else in the operating room being able to see what you're doing right uh, thankfully we have camera systems right now a uh, small note regarding the old and new laparoscopes that we have so traditionally they used to be having a lens system which meant several different thin lenses were spaced with uh, long intervals of air or vacuum within the scope but as you can see uh, these were fragile had a narrow field of view and to make matters worse there used to be a lot of image distortion as a result of inconsistencies within these thin lenses the system that we use right now in all systems is the hopkins rod lens arrangement where you actually have long segment lenses almost like cylinders with very small uh, interspersed areas of air or vacuum within. The advantages of the Hopkins system are that it is relatively robust. I'm saying relatively. Uh, remember, these are still pretty sensitive and fragile instruments. But, and it also offers an extremely wide field of view. You can see in the diagram, it's much wider than the traditional uh, uh, telescope lens system. And also because the cylinders are so long, there is a lesser likelihood that you're going to be seeing a distorted image as a result of production inconsistencies. When you look at the tips of these laparoscopes, uh, they have several angles attached to them. The one on the left that you see over here is just a straight on cylinder, right? Whereas the one on the top right is having a slight angle associated with it. Another point I want you guys to note is that there is a lens system at the end and there's also a fiber optic uh, uh, area where the light is eventually emitted from and this is constant in all laparoscopes.